Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is going to be about the top 10 causes of high blood pressure. Now, most people, especially doctors, try to lower high blood pressure by using harmful prescription drugs. But as you may already know, that these medications are just loaded with negative side effects and they're better for just short-term, not long-term use. And it's unfortunate because there are you know, proven natural alternatives that already exist, which I'll share with you in a minute. And these alternatives are, in my opinion, much, much safer and work better than high blood pressure medications, especially for long-term use. However, what you and your doctor should really be doing is trying to control, reduce, and potentially eliminate the causes of high blood pressure. So today, uh, today's video, you'll discover the top 10 causes of high blood pressure. And at the end, I'll give you my favorite natural solution that my family and I personally use. Okay, so let's get started with one of them being age. Now, most people don't realize that age is one of the biggest factors for high blood pressure. In fact, after the age of 40, 37% of the population has high blood pressure. And after the age of 60, a whopping 70% or more of the population has hypertension. So if you're over the age of 40 and have high blood pressure, it may not be your fault, all right, because of the age thing. But it is your responsibility to fix it right away and take action using some of today's simple solutions. Now, another factor, and this is another big one, is genetics and a family history. Well, you know, not much can be done here, right? Because it's genetics. And this is, in fact, my own personal problem because I have a family history, specifically on my dad's side, of hypertension uh, that causes heart attacks and especially strokes. And under this video, you can see what we've done to naturally fix this problem for my dad and myself. But again, what's important to know is that if you do have a family history, you must take action today to help prevent any future complications from high blood pressure. Because my dad did have a stroke a couple years ago, and I don't want that to happen to you. Now, another factor is smoking. All right. You already know that smoking has no health benefits, and it's a major cause of high blood pressure. So if you're doing it, please stop. I'll leave that for now. Another factor is alcohol. Now, a little bit of alcohol is okay, especially if it's made from wine, preferably organic wine. But drinking every night will cause eventually damage to your heart, arteries, and liver over time because alcohol is a toxin. It's a neurotoxin. It's acidic. So they're both being bad for you. And add in aging and disease. It's just not good all around for long-term usage. Now, another factor is just being overweight. Again, similar to smoking, being overweight has just no health benefits. And the older you get, the harder it is to lose that unwanted fat. So you need to address this. Another factor that most people don't take into consideration is sodium. Now, salt has its benefits, actually, all right? Regular table salt, unfortunately, or the salt found in processed foods and processed packaging is bad for you, all right? Keep that in your mind. However, natural salt, such as Himalayan rock or Celtic sea salt, can be good for you when used in moderation. It can actually help lower blood pressure, more importantly, stress hormones, such as cortisol. Speaking of stress, another factor is stress um, and hormones. Now, we all know that stress is bad. However, you can't get rid of it, but what's important is that you manage it better, all right? What's important is the meaning you give to stressful situations. Now, if you tend to go crazy and freak out, get negative and focus on the problem the entire time, you put your body under a lot of extra stress. This is the secret is to focus on the solution the majority of the time and to know that this too shall pass, all right? And, and worrying about the problem isn't going to help anything, as you may already know, especially your blood pressure or your heart health. Um, another factor is lack of physical activity, all right? Let's face it, we all sit too much these days, right? So you need to just get outside and walk daily. Even if it's just for 15, 20 minutes, it'll do you wonders for your physical more importantly, even your mental health. Another factor is medication or medical conditions, okay? And this goes back to genetics. Now, if you have a, a genetic problem or a family history, again, like, like what's happening in my life, which is making things worse, then you must make changes to your lifestyle right away because your body is more sensitive than the average person. Of course, getting older and aging is only going to get things worse. And finally, medication. Now, ironically, many heart medications actually cause more problems, more heart problems in the long run. Again, they're used, they're good for short-term usage. 
Now, they can increase, for example, your cholesterol levels, your blood sugar and blood pressure levels, and they can actually decrease blood flow and circulation. Again, not a good idea for long-term usage. And they can actually cause extra stress to your liver and kidneys, which, can, which then causes even more problems for your heart, which I think you already know makes sense. Nature already has the answers, all right? Not the pharmaceutical company. So whenever possible, take fewer drugs and utilize natural solutions. And this is why I ended up formulating blood pressure optimizer for myself and my dad. Now, again, we have a family history of heart attacks and strokes. You know, my dad could no longer deal with the negative side effects of the medications. And diet and exercise helped, but it just wasn't enough. And I stated earlier, genetics and aging are major causes of high blood pressure, and my dad just couldn't keep finding it anymore. Because of this, I formulated blood pressure optimizer, which utilizes only natural ingredients that are actually clinically researched to help improve your blood pressure without the negative side effects. Anyway, what's important, again, is that you take action right now and implement just some of the suggestions in today's videos. And under the video, you'll see additional links to important articles, videos, and proven solutions to how I quickly lowered my dad's blood pressure and how you can do the same. And I want you to benefit basically from the mistakes that we've made and save yourself time and money and get fast results with the least amount of effort. So it's great for you. Now, I hope this video was helpful and gave you more clarity. And if you like more information about this topic or similar topics, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be making more highly researched videos aimed at keeping your entire body and mind healthy so you can look and feel young. And if you'd like additional information on how you can quickly lower your blood pressure levels naturally, again, without the use of harmful prescription drugs or following a restrictive diet, please visit the link in the description area below and under this video for additional information and helpful tips. And as always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.